about. You want the reader to experience the story, not know it. You want to trick the reader into forgetting that they're sitting with a bunch of pages in their hand glued together at one edge. You want them to imagine they're in the presence of these events and these characters. We get them to write down on file cards what has happened to them as a result of these experiences. We then go on and tell them to write a story in one day. We came back and we wrote up our little note cards. And as I was writing up the note card, this guy started connecting up with my empty cup that they gave me the other day. And I started realizing that I could use this material in the story that I'm getting ready to write. And a sort of an outline fell out of it. I had several other outlines prior to that, but this one was much more human. So I'm pretty excited to get out of here and go write the story, you know. <laughs> and now, you start your story. And you will have roughly until noon tomorrow to finish your story. Val and Ron Lindon, two of the leading illustrators in their field, teach the illustrators workshops. In this contest, because it was originally conceived by illustrators, it was set up in a way that was fair to the artists. They retained all their rights. They received a cash prize. They received free publicity. And so it was like a win-win situation and extremely fair and ethical. And so it was something that we, we, we really could get behind and support. One of the most rewarding possibilities for us at the end of the workshops is watching the participants, the students, go out even more excited. They're, uh, they're fried and worn out. Um, we work very hard to accomplish this, but they're, they're absolutely inspired. You know, the transition between the wood grain and, and the jacket here mm. is just impeccable. And, and, a, and a great exercise, you see. Yeah. <laughs> really was. In, in perspective, a great exercise in texture. And tell me again what, what you're going to do with your art, where you're going. You're looking at doing covers or...? Um, well, I'm looking at doing, you know, covers and uh, I really picked up on the, the applying it to anything that will yeah, yeah, you know, lend itself to you it. You could do anything you wanted to, Andy. You could do children's work, uh, political. The workshops have been just overwhelming. A lot of information, a lot of different ways of, of approaching not only <laughs> doing artwork, but also different ways of promoting yourself. And this is like the first time for most of us, I think, that it, every, anybody has ever said, yes, you're good enough, yes, you can do it, yes, you can make it. You've made the grade. Kid, you're going to Hollywood. And that was really great because everybody down here they read the stories, they've seen your artwork, they know who you are. And for the first time, it's like, wow, people are paying attention to me. This one's kind of neat. This one, this is a three-headed woman, but the one on the left always wants to go left, and the one on the right always wants to go right. There's one stuck in the middle, so they never go anywhere. I started getting a little bit sick of doing the advertising. I started doing illustrations out of my head. I really started enjoying that and started creating this whole universe, whole world of creatures and mechanics. Drawing fantasy and, uh, and science fiction, you can pull anything you want. Anything that exists in your head can work. There was a young man from the Soviet Union, and he won, the winner of the Illustrators Contest. He was a young man named Sergei Poyakov, and when he won the contest, he was the Gold Award winner in 1991, he threw up his hands in a gesture of elation. Thank you, my dear friends. Thank you, America. Thank you, Los Angeles. Thank you, Ron Harbor. Thank you, all, me, all my friends. And I sat there and thought, yes, yes, that was, that was the fruition of L. Ron Hubbard's vision for this contest. That's what he intended it to be. Of course, it was a very special feeling. It was extremely special feeling. That was, at the, that time, you know, highest bar I ever could imagine to get. Well, I was speechless. Should somebody tell me 10 years ago what's going to happen in a 10 years, I'd never believe that person. And should somebody tell me that in a 10 years I will have my own book, I'd never believe. But in this book, mentioned the names of all the people who helped me in my life. 
and one name is amongst them. It's the name of Eldon Hubbard. Unfortunately, I never met that man personally, but I think that this man put the, you know, first brick in a building I'm trying to build in my life. Uh, I think you are in a better position than I, because when I won this contest, I didn't speak English, and I think if I could do that, what I did, you have better chances. The first moment that it really hit me that I'm an, I'm an illustrator was when they gave me the story and they sent it to me to illustrate, and I looked at it and said, my God, I have to draw a picture to go with this. It was somebody else's vision. Just almost out of whole cloth, I had to guess what they were thinking. And that was really exciting. Scary, but, but very exciting. At the end of the week of workshops, the writing finalists were presented with the illustrations to their stories and met the artists for the first time. But, uh, yeah, I think it just really worked well. It's absolutely exquisite. It's wonderful. He's on. Thank you. Oh, yes. Glad you like it. Very cool. All three of these are the Andy Clark's ones. I certainly wasn't expecting uh, the illustration that had been done. I'm very happy with it. I'm delighted. It's a little redeeming and makes you feel like you, you did a good job. I feel like we found a middle ground between what the feeling of a story was and when you know trying to capture that feeling in, in the in the artworks. It's wonderful. Oh, you have seen it? I've seen it. It's over in the corner. Yeah, I know it right off. Yeah. Your story. This is an amazing reward. Being here at Writers of the Future, being able to participate with the other writers, seeing what the illustrators have done with the stories. So she, you did this really well. And, and they nurses. go, they go to dance. Now she, she's real. Uh -huh. I tried to be very correct to your. Um, Describing. Writing is all about communication and when you sit in your home, your office, wherever you do it, in your bath, and you put down on paper the, the ideas and the concepts you have in your head, you do so in the hope that somebody somewhere will read what you've written and will get out of it what you've tried to put in. And when I saw that illustration, I realized this had happened. This is perfect, absolutely perfect. It was actually one of the great moments of my life. Amanda, the illustrator, through some feat of genius, had managed to put my entire story in one image. It was absolutely perfect. And I'm so pleased that I have the original and I will take it home and I will hang it on my wall. And when I get back to Crete, I'm just going to sit there and look at it.